UCAVs, or Unmanned Combat Aerial Vehicles, are an essential feature of the modern battlefield. A futuristic small aircraft without a pilot that is able to conduct reconnaissance and target acquisition over enemy airspace and also drop munitions, all without risk to aircrew and at a cost far cheaper than ridiculously expensive modern strike planes. The idea isn't new. In fact, the concept of an unmanned aircraft, a drone, capable of attacking the enemy is very old and dates from World War I, but was constrained by the technology of the day. However, it may come as a surprise to learn that the United States did manage to design and manufacture a working military drone, and even more incredibly, use the system in combat in the Second World War in the Pacific. Two developments made the assault drone, as it was termed in World War II, feasible. The radar, altimeter, and television. The former is a device that measures altitude above the terrain presently beneath an aircraft by timing how long it takes a beam of radio waves to travel to ground, reflect and return to the craft. This was far more advanced than a standard barometric altimeter which provides the distance above a defined vertical datum, usually mean sea level. The second invention, television, soon found a military use, a television camera mounted in the drone's nose providing the operator with a basic but nonetheless real-time picture to fly the drone to its target. The first test drones were specially converted manual aircraft and in April 1942 a drone made a first attack against a test ship. The US Navy awarded a contract to interstate aircraft and the TDR-1 was born with 195 eventually being built. The TDR-1 was a twin-engine drone with a wingspan of 48 feet or 15 meters and a weight of 5,900 pounds or 2,600 kilos. It had a cruising speed of 140 miles per hour, 230 kilometers per hour, and a range of 425 miles or 684 kilometers, being armed with either one 2,000-pound aerial bomb or an aerial torpedo. The drone's controller flew close by in a modified TBM Avenger, acting as a control aircraft. The drone's body was a simple design created by the Schwinn Bicycle Company with a molded wooden skin, produced by the Wurlitzer Piano Company. The TDR-1 had a fixed tricycle undercarriage that could be jettisoned after takeoff to improve flight characteristics, particularly in the final dive. Overall, the drone used little strategic materials and was cheap to produce. The type underwent intensive testing, and it worked well. The US Navy had big plans for the assault drones, with a thousand to be formed into 18 attack squadrons. But technical issues and government indifference to the project meant that only some 195 TDR-1s were built and shipped to the Pacific. A first combat test was conducted in July 1944 when four TDR-1s, controlled remotely from TBM Avenger aircraft seven miles away, successfully struck the previously beached Japanese freighter Yamosuke Maru. The first drone scored a direct hit. The second missed and exploded in nearby jungle. The third scored a hit, but the bomb failed to explode, and the fourth also scored a direct hit with full detonation. On the back of this excellent test, full combat missions were ordered. Two small drone squadrons were created, one based at Stirling Field on Treasury Island off the south coast of Bougainville, the other north at Green Island. The first combat target was another beach Japanese freighter, but this one was different. The Japanese had turned it into an anti-aircraft battery, and it had shot down a C-47 days before the drone's strike. On the 27th of September 1944, the drones attacked through dense Japanese flak. The first drone got through and struck amidships, probably killing everyone aboard. A second drone exploded on the port quarter, and a third impacted astern but the bomb failed to explode. Drones were subsequently used to attack Japanese buildings, flak installations, bridges and supply dumps. These were all much harder to hit than a stationary ship, and the technology of the day struggled. And many of the drones were also shot down by Japanese anti-aircraft defences. 
The last combat mission on the 26th of October 1944 was to hit the lighthouse at Cape St. George. The first drone struck it and demolished it, the second and third drones hitting the smoking rubble. Over one month's operations, the two drone squadrons had expended 46 TDR-1s in combat against the Japanese, with 37 reaching their target areas and 21 achieving precision attacks, an amazing record. However, the US Navy had already decided to terminate the project before the final combat missions were flown, believing, somewhat surprisingly, that traditional aircraft could achieve better results. Unsurprisingly, the drone squadron's human personnel felt very betrayed at the project being cancelled. It was obvious to them that drones could have been used more extensively in the war against Japan, perhaps even against Germany, making precision attacks without risk to aircrew. The final few surviving drones were used as targets for U.S. shipborne anti-aircraft weapons off California, while a handful survived, being fitted with cockpits, and became private planes after the war. Many thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share, and also visit my audiobook channel, War Stories with Mark Felton. You can also help to support both of my channels at PayPal and Patreon. Details in the description box below.